How's it going, guys? It makes me vibes here. I just want to say, I hope your day has been good. I hope it's been filled with love and positivity and it's been peaceful and I genuinely hope it's been going your way. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I make spirituality slash self-improvement content to make you think and to improve your life 1% better each day. Thank you guys again, and I, I know I keep saying, but thank you guys again for all the love and support that you've been giving me in the comments. It's been, it's been a blast uh, reading everything, even if it doesn't uh, agree with uh, the topic I'm discussing, and it's, it's been great. So keep commenting, keep sharing, keep liking. I just wanted to briefly discuss why I believe it's imperative that we all seek some sort of counseling, some sort of therapy. I believe mental health to be such an important uh, topic. I don't mean to cover such rudimentary uh, topic, but I think a lot of us adults, we don't know how to regulate our emotions properly in a healthy way. We move as if our emotions are separate from us. There are emotions, but they are separate from us. And we just act upon our emotions without any consideration for why we think the way we do, why do we act a certain way in certain situations, and how to properly, properly regulate them. You think about your amygdala and how it's responsible for so much, right? Even the, the basics of body language and what does that mean, tone of voice, the way that people face will show what they're feeling. Just again, rudimentary topics, but I think it controls all of that. And I think subconsciously, I think we know that our emotions are play a huge role in how we develop. But again, we don't have the time, nor do we want to really go within because again, it's, it's scary to go within. At first, it's, it's a bit scary. Uh, to go within and actually tap into those emotions and to let it play out and really look into your childhood and see why you are the way you are. If I'll be honest, I think for this year, my mental health has been pretty decent. If I had to rate it so far, I'd say it's been about, an, it ranges, it would range from, I'd say a, on a, on a, on a great, great day, obviously a 10 and that's a great day I'd say uh, like a six if I'll be com completely honest yesterday or, or yesterday evening was a bit a bit tough for me sometimes I find it hard to compartmentalize my thoughts you right, in my emotions all right and the day was pretty great but in the evening time I, I really I got in my head and everything just felt so real and I allowed myself to just really let those emotions flow. And boy, did they flow. <laughs> I called my friend. You know, I was I was uh, at home lying on the couch and the thoughts were running. And I, I called my friend and talked with her. And she really helped me see the bigger picture of everything and return to my center and you know, be more calm and peaceful. I'm not going to lie. I really I bro I broke down. I just, I wasn't holding back. I just kind of broke down over the phone, uh, shed some uh, some tears. Because I have this personal thing that I'm dealing with. Uh, not necessarily what I've shared with you guys, but a personal thing. And I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. And I just kind of wanted to turn my phone off and just get away from everybody. I kind of still want to do that and just kind of be in nature. Uh, but again, we talked and she really put things in perspective and it was, it was great to, it was great to hear the words, everything is gonna work out. Because even me, I'm human, right? I'm human and as much as, you know, again, we are improving ourselves, 
it's okay to have na uh, natural emotions and it's okay for you to express them. At a certain point, if you keep negating your emotions, you're gonna, you know what I mean? It, it, the lid is gonna fly open and it's just gonna come out. And then when it comes out, then you don't have the emotional regulation. You just let the emotions fly out and you, you don't know why you got angry. You don't know why you blew up on somebody or why something happened or why you just broke down. It's because you've been, sh you've been shielding things or pushing them down too long. And, and maybe that could have happened to me. I haven't really delved in to and reflect on uh, what exactly or why exactly it happened. But it was just nice to talk to a friend and really uh, vent, I guess you could say. And so basically what I'm saying is I think it's, it's important that even if you do not necessarily have the funds for a therapist or for therapy, I think if you are feeling down, if you're feeling like you want to self-delete, if you're feeling like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I definitely think you should reach out to a friend, a colleague, someone that you, you deeply trust to just talk it through even if they're just there to vent you're just there to vent and then them to listen just someone you can let it out all out to and, and discuss with allow yourself to really drop the guard and if you're watching this my friend i'm talking to you if you're watching this thank you so much i, I uh mean the world to me and uh i appreciate you but that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to discuss. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time to hear me out. And I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Okay? Everything is going to work out in your favor. It is. It's going to work out.